Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Dark Desire Harvest. I'm bringing you today Aspen Comics, Aspen's Matthews character. And I know a lot of y'all probably don't know who she is, but I'm bringing her in versing Aquaman, which y'all do know who that is. And we're going to see who wins, loses, or is it a stalemate? And all you probably think, why am I putting her against you? You'll see why. Right here. Aspen lifts a roof because where it gets broken off in a battle. And it's made of concrete and steel beams inside, and it weighs tons. That's impressive in strength. This is impressive also in strength. She was under heat, very high heat lamp, and strapped down by steel. And she is able to break out of it like it is nothing, as you see in this image. And right here, she shapes shifts back to herself. And then tells that guy he's lying. She can tell by his heartbeat. And also by his blood flow. Insane. And right here they are a disaster that happens. It's breaking news. And you can see that they're saying, is that a human? And they see that it's As Aspen Matthews, the biologist, sea biologist. And she's cutting up, as you've seen the earlier scan, the all. And she's unaffected by it. And while she's cutting it up, she's getting in a certain way she wants. And the way that she wants it is like this. She wants it into a oil sphere. You know, what she does, get it into a oil a sphere shape and cleans the whole entire ocean when she lifts it up out of the water. All the oil is gone. That is a crazy feat. That's amazing. And right here... You can see, you know, they're dehydrating them completely, you know, characters does. But she goes even a step farther and can manipulate the blood and suck the blood completely out of a bean. And they will just shrivel up, as you see, like this right here, and kind of looks like they just melt away or, or just disintegrate. But yes... She can just suck the blood right out of you. And not just to human standards, but to even superhuman standards. Even inhuman standards, as you see right here. She disintegrates this inhuman being. And right here, uh, you see a submarine. Why she's going after it is because what happened to her brother, you would have to read the comic, Fathom. And when she does, she comes in rage. She throws that thing out of the ocean. You see it's going sky high and on fire and everything. And that's not all. She goes on a rampage. And she just starts on the Navy right there. and But they bring it on themselves. She's destroying the jets. I mean, she's doing it left and right. She's getting angrier. The ocean gets angry with her. The angrier she gets, the more the fierce the ocean, the waves get. She is one with the ocean, literally. As you see, she just... <laughs> them together. and I mean, she's a, obliterated the Navy, and her rage is so great, It's the ocean rages as well. And she ends up getting stopped before she annihilates them, along with the power from the help from the ocean. She is unreal strong, and you can see that she comes back to her senses. And right here, she goes in an extreme speed up in the air, kind of like she's got flight. Her water can give her kind of a flight ability. And she saves this guy from that explosion on the helicopter, as you see, and he thanks her. She moves so quick, she even out 
ran that explosion, which was in an instant. That is an amazing feat of speed is right there, but that, that she's even able to dodge bullets. Crazy. And there are going to be more scans of her because a lot of people don't know of her. But she's dodged bullets, but they're even greater than that. She dodging lightning. Dodging lightning, which is 177,000 miles per hour. Lightning is. Could be a little bit more. Uh, but that's not even her fastest. Right here, they pick an unidentified object up, and they got a 100-mile radius on this, their radar. And that unidentified object is already up on them. And then when it was up on them, it was gone. That's how fast she moved. She moved 100 miles in a split second. Like a ghost came and then left. And right here, uh, she taunting this guy to come on. And he hits her, but it's not having no effect. She's getting him away, but it ain't having no effect because she's manipulating her skin to water work. You know, she absorbs it. And right here, she lowers the temperature of the sea. It lowers the temperature. Absolutely insane fit to lower the temperature of the ocean and to use it, use the low temperature of the water to create ice and to defeat our enemy by ice. That is insane. And right here, she resists ice. She is a water person that is able to do it on a subatomic scale, but she is resisting ice. And all right here, here her is in her water form. And uh, she's extremely powerful in her water form. She literally can't be hurt when she's in her water form. And uh, right here, she comes out of this light, which is coming from the blue sun that she was deceived in create to create and she comes out of it and this guy right here I can't think of his name but she uh, he, he gets what's coming to him but the thing is about that blue sun it's six times hotter than our sun's core and she comes out of it and she destroys him but the thing is her they deceived her in creating it and she goes in it her energy because she can manipulate energy as well and then she re-enters and they're saying that she is going to die and she does it and this blue sun can destroy the planet it can boil the ocean and destroy the nations and she survived unscathed and she says limitless existence when she was inside of it it was and being a god so she is a god slash goddess of the ocean now king of atlantis aquaman you see here that he backslaps his own throne out of anger which is pretty stinking strong to be able to do that because that was heavy. And then you see him. It looks like he's underwater when he's doing this building, but I don't know because them look like regular humans. How are they able to breathe underwater? But he is lifting a half a building. Incredible feat. And right here, this is during a, I think, I don't know if it's an exact earthquake, but I think it is in, it. it is an earthquake. But he is holding up a building during that time. Crazy feet. And right here, he's outside of a submarine talking to them people, you know, and everything. That one thinks that one's dead, but he hears the heartbeat 
of that person that that one thinks is dead and is not dead, as you see in the scan right there. And right here, Green Lantern cannot see his hand in front of his face, you know, like he says. But Aquaman can see just fine, tells him he's going to get getting ready to run into this, you know, and stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, Aquaman's got stuff. And right here, this shows that Aquaman has control over all creatures of the sea, no matter what kind they are, because of what he said, because of what he says in the scan and how it shows it. And right here, he can also use his telepath not just for you know the seas, but also to for attacks as he staggers Swamp Thing, which is a great feat right there of its own. Uh, and right here. You know, everybody knows the spider danger sense. Well, he uses he he's got like a telepathic danger sense, and he it's uh, when this sniper shoots him, he's able to dodge it due to that, and that is an amazing feat. You know, because he can sense danger with his telepathic ability as well. And right here, you can see him outrunning Lightning along with Martian Manhunter and Green Lantern. You know, you see him in the old, old comic script right here. Um, but yeah, that this is uh, that that's fast. And right here, he's underwater fighting this armored suit, and uh, he gets electrocuted underwater, and it's far more effective getting electrocuted underwater than on land and he is unfazed and then right here you see him it's an impar a parallax I think droid and he takes the blast straight on because I think it's called parallax I think that's how you, you know, say it he takes straight on and then he destroys it he destroys the uh droid which they was slews of them in that crisis right there and then they was the actual true imperialics but he's able to destroy one of his strong and right here you can see him diving diving out of a boat or plane like thing over the earth into the sea huh, that is crazy and right here you see him face get impaled uh, multiple times at the exact same time. And he, uh, right here, you see him bleeding. And it's not good. He's bleeding pretty bad because he got stabbed, I think, right almost through the heart. He got, he got stabbed all in his torso by icicle-like things. And then... You see him, he's completely healed. He's not bleeding no more. He's just fine. And that's a great healing factor. Very good healing factor indeed. Um, and uh, right here is an Olympian. And you know Olympians from mythology, from comic books especially, are very powerful. And strong strong and all that and you see Martian Manhunter get hit but it was a sneak attack and this Olympian is going to get ready and kill Martian Manhunter and right here before he can do it comes Aquaman and this is a feat you can read it he's uh so many thousand feet he swims and at the pressure so many thousand pressure per inch as you come up i don't know how it is but yes he one shots that olympian after he throws his uh tight i don't know after he throws his weapon then punches him one shots him right there right in the jaw and um who would win this match well, he's got a trident, and it's got magical powers. It can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, 
he's got all the crazy, you know, he's got all these feats, you know, Aquaman, and he's got others. But Aspen Matthews, um, she's got crazy ends to you, as you've seen. And if I had to say to calm down who would win, I would have to give it to Aspen Matthews for, as you see, the angrier she gets, the ocean rages with her. It's not like that with Aquaman, but it is with her. And like, and she created the sun. She was tricked into creating this ultimate weapon that could wipe out the whole entire planet, boil the ocean, the sea, and, you know, level, just turn the world into a wasteland. And it was by her power that happened. They deceived her. You would have to read the comic. And, um, and the the blue sun is six times hotter than the core of the sun. Um, and she went in and she stopped it. It came out unharmed, said it is like limitless existence and being a god. So we are looking at a woman who is a god slash goddess, whatever, which way you want to call her, of the ocean. And not just that, she is of all liquids as well because it's stated that she can control any type of liquid, no matter what, any kind of even blood as you seen like that. So, sorry DC and Aquaman fans, the match goes to Aspen Matthews uh, uh, and stuff. And I know you DC fans and Aquaman fans will probably dislike this because she won. But the bottom line is, and the evidence shows, that she would be Aquaman even with his trident. I'm sorry, but she would. It would be a good fight, but if she got serious, it would be over before it begun because just like I say her anger like her emotions is with the emotions of the ocean she's one with the ocean absolute one with the ocean so ladies and gentlemen if y'all like this I doubt you they see and Aquaman fans did, but if you did enjoy this, mash that like button, subscribe, subscribe and subscribe if you like any of my other videos, and I thank y'all for watching, and this is Dark Desire saying, until next time.